what is up we're gonna do an unboxing and going over of this new gadget I got Was the charger? This is uh, attachment. This uh, version of the tool has some sort of uh, attachment options. Oh, so it comes with these blades, serrated plastic blades. This is made out of plastic, but I guess it cuts weeds with. So I'm assuming I'm gonna attach it to this somehow. So this is cool about this option, this uh, package that I got. It was $199 plus tax. Um, is that it comes with this? So that's kind of cool uh, because you know I guess if I want to switch from wire, which it comes with a couple of spools, to this, I have that option. I don't have to go out and buy this attachment separately. Yeah. So this is a 40 volt lithium 4AH battery and uh, something I, I noticed while I was at the uh, store where I bought this at is that they have a 6 I believe 6AH version of the battery. So this is a Ryobi 40 volt lithium brushless um, which is there's another option there's a, another version of this that is not brushless this is an expanded means you can put other stuff on it 15 inch cordless string trimmer our most powerful 40 volt trimmer you can put these different types of attachments on there which come separately you have to buy those uh, this comes with a three-in-one head so you can use the bump serrated blades or the fix line which I don't know how to use yet but I will find out so anyways this is the version that I got there's a cheaper version of this it goes for like hundred and forty nine fifty nine sometimes you can get on sale for 139 uh, but it's not brushless and um, the major difference is here at the top where the motor is um, the brushless one looks like this. This the other version, the cheaper version. This part is smaller. It's about this size here. It doesn't have a section. And um, yeah, so this is more powerful. Um, I don't know anything about electric engines, but brushless has something to do with the motor that's inside here. I'm assuming there's less less friction because it's brushless. Um, but that's the major difference so it's more powerful um, but the amount of time that the charge lasts I think is the same because that's really dependent on the type of battery you have so this is a battery that comes with it but you can um, buy separately a longer lasting battery so it's, instead of 4 AH I think it's like five or six it's more expensive I think it's like hundred and seventy eighty dollars just for the battery um, but anyways so here's the the head of the machine it looks pretty hardy uh, meaning that it looks pretty strong here um, you know looks like it's gonna last I've seen some people replacing the string by taking this off I don't think you need to take this head off in order to replace the string I think you just feed it through here but I'll find out I'll do a little test here um, in a little bit One thing I like about this model is that the trigger is right here. Um, there's another one that has a lever on top and then it has a lever on bottom and you have to like squeeze them both, but I like this one better. And then it has a high and low. Yeah. 
So that's pretty much it, folks. I'll uh, put this together and see how it works after I charge up the battery. Charger. Plug this in. Here. It only goes in one way. So it says power on. That means the power is on to this. And now I can plug in the battery. Here's the battery. Okay. All right, now it's blinking. Blinking green, which means it's charging. All right. Art. So let's see what this is about. Take off the masking tape. There we go. So it already has string in there. I don't know how much. Looks like there's a lock here. I'm assuming that means unlock. So let me turn it. So that allows me to take off this. Let's see how much string is in there. Mm, looks like it's got a pretty good amount. Let's take this off. Ooh, not that much, but whatever. Look like on the inside. So we're back in business. So now we're going to put this back on there. Like this. Oh. Okay. So there we go. So if you ever want to load this in, you don't have to do that. What I just did, you just put it in through here and make sure the arrows are lined up with this arrow, this arrow, and make sure this is locked. And you should be good. And then you just crank it up. This handy dandy little thing right here. And that will wind up the, the string for you. All right. So. Like I said, it comes with some extra string. It also has the option of uh, stationary string, which I don't know how that works. I'll have to explain that in another video. Then you have this option as well, but we're not gonna mess with any of that today. We're just gonna go with the original style, which is the bump feed, which just has a two strings sticking out. Um, I think there is also the stationary option, which is why this is like so short. But I don't know how that works, so I'll have to read up on that. I'll show you later. Right now, we're going to put this on. Let's see how this works. Ah, like this. I need to do is put the handle on and then tighten this up with the wrench so 
you know, this cuts off the excess string. Take that off. got a nice grippy it's like a rubberized handle right here and uh, we should be ready to roll as soon as the battery charges should be good to go okay turn it put your spring there and then this is gonna go on here somehow. So when it goes on like that, but it needs to line up, needs to line up somehow. Oh, let me show you how that goes. So here's the spring. Maybe you take the spring off. No, don't take the spring off. Okay. So anyways. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your blade on here. That. And then you put your other blade on here. Oh, wait a second. Sorry. Upside down. Sorry. So it's going to go like this. I don't know if you noticed, but there's like a little cup there. And this has a little kind of cup on there. So you're going to face it towards the cup and it's going to kind of lock it in. And then these are going to, you know, move around like that. And then you're going to line up the orange part, the, the pivot part with the arrow. Okay, get that in there. And then you're going to turn it. Hold on a second. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, then you're locking it. So this is for, like, if you have some really thick weeds or you just don't want to keep adding more spool to your thing, more wire. You get tired of doing that, you can use this, which is stronger, but these are gonna wear out after a while and you're gonna have to replace them. But you can replace these blades. Um, they're just made out of plastic, but I guess they cut. Um, so, you know, if you don't wanna keep replacing the wire, you can go with this. And it's also good for thicker weeds and stuff like that. They say you could cut like bushes and stuff like that with it too, so. I'm going to just go with this for right now because um, that's what I'm used to and uh, yeah so just make sure I put this on there right okay so yeah so I'm just going to go with that I want to wind this up your cable is sticking out too far you could do that um, but again as you're going you can just bump on this on the ground and that will allow a release more string so I actually comes with this but I bought some more because I know that's gonna run out this is a uh, stationary I think I, I don't know how this works I have to read that but you saw how this part works so this comes with the package again it's 200 bucks for the um, brushless model uh, 40 volt there is one that is not brushless it's a little less um, powerful but it still has the same amount of uh, battery life 
Again, the battery life just depends on the battery you have. You can you can upgrade to a, a longer lasting battery and also depends on how you use it. You know, if you're going 40, 40 minutes nonstop, they say that's about how long it takes. That, that's how long the battery will last. Uh, but again, this is a more powerful one, so I'm guessing like you can cut thicker weeds, things like that. Um, of course, you can put attachments on this. So I opted for the little bit more expensive one, 200 bucks. The other one's about 150, 140 to 170, I think, um, if it's not on sale. All right, so here's a little picture of how the brushless technology works. There. Here's a picture of how you, the fixed line head, how that would work. Oh, I see how it works now. Okay, so I'll do that in another video. Traditional um, bump wire or bump line feed. So, you know, like a regular weed whacker, you just bump it on the ground and it releases more uh, string. And then there's this one. Again, this is more for like cutting thicker weeds. Um, and this is an uh, attachment. So you have to take off the, the head and put this on there. Um, these come off so you can replace these. So you just take that off. And then there's also the option of the fixed line. So here's a little example of, I guess, how that would work. So you take a piece of uh, string here and you, what you're gonna do is, um, I guess you feed it through here. Okay, so you take, you take a piece of string about, looks like it's about a foot long. This was pre-cut, it came in the um, package for me. So you just put that there and you feed it through here like that. And you can see um, it just kind of, you have two pieces that come out here and then you put the other side to do the same thing. So really you're gonna have like four pieces of string that are gonna be sticking out and they're gonna, they're not gonna sell, they're not gonna feed uh, cause this is a uh, fixed. So um, once this wears out, you're gonna have to replace it. So that's why it has two because it'll last, it'll last longer. So I'm not sure the difference as far as how it, well it works when it comes to um, cutting and how long this wire will last. But I'll do a little test and show you how that works. So this is pretty cool, pretty interesting option. Um, I guess it just gives you another option for, you know, cutting and stuff like that. And uh, so it's cool. But you, if you're going to use the fixed line, you can't use this. You have to choose one or the other. And then again, the third option is just the traditional bump line feed. Um, right here's a, they give you some in the box but I went ahead and bought some extra and uh, we're gonna go test this thing out in a little bit I'm still charging the battery's been charging for probably about 30 30 minutes or so um, and it's almost done charging so it's about 75 percent charge right now you see the three bars um, it just needs you know it just needs one more bar to go so We'll be ready to start using this thing in a little bit, and I can tell you how it works. Here, first try.
say so far about this is that when you cutting big weeds and stuff like this it gets caught in here one of the things that I hate about gas powered is that you have to turn off the engine to clean this out and then you have to worry about it restarting you know the gas engine but with this just start it right back up and uh, I noticed for me with the not really knowing how to maintain the carburetor and stuff like that on my weed whacker you know that presents itself a problem and it just makes it frustrating when you're trying to cut grass and you have to stop and you know you don't want to turn off the engine because you're afraid it's not going to start back up again I don't know if that's ever happened to you folks but um, that's always a problem with me but this all you got to do is pull the trigger boom back at it so so far you can see it's done a pretty good job and I love it so far so I give this tool two thumbs up I'll let you know how long the battery lasts how long it what how much I'm able to cut let me show you how big my backyard is so you get an idea of what I'm working with right here so I have a lot of property that I need to maintain and uh, so Let's see if this weed whacker can handle all this plus my front yard too so thanks for checking out my video you don't have to like or you don't have to subscribe because i'm just making these videos for fun to help other people out i really don't know what liking and subscribing does anyways because i don't make money off this uh, i'm just doing it for y'all all right take care man and if you decide to uh buy one of these let me know you can leave a comment and I'll try to answer your questions peace well team pretty much finished um, the only parts I couldn't finish were areas that I need to do some trimming with uh, like a hacksaw or something like that but I pretty much got most of the areas that I needed to get so um, you can see back there if you can see back there yeah so back there around the tree I was trying to clear out um, you know along the fence there things like that over in this area right here so I'm actually really satisfied with how this worked did the front yard too and I have about 10 to 25 percent battery left you see one green light that means 10 to 25 percent so I don't know exactly how much is left anywhere between 10 to 25 percent um, one of the things that I read was that it says that um, you'll have full power while you're using this um, you know as you start to lose uh, battery you still maintain a full charge so basically what will happen is it'll just cut off completely the power won't die down as you lose battery you'll just keep full power until the battery is completely dead and then your machine will shut off so I like that too um, I still have some string left I didn't use the whole string that I loaded in there you saw at the front at the beginning of this video and it's really easy to uh, you know you just bump it to release more string and it lasted the whole time so again love this machine did a great job so much less hassle than a gas machine because of uh, you don't have to worry about ethanol getting into your into your um, carburetor and clogging it up and you know worrying about storing it and whether it's gonna clog and all that mess you don't have to buy gas you know the ethanol free gas which is like 20 bucks 10 to 20 bucks it's pretty expensive so um, this will pay off you know in about a year or so I'll save money um, so it was 200 bucks plus tax 
So there you go. Love it. Get it done. Peace out, my peeps.